All these emerging technologies, for example, artificial intelligence, machine vision, big data, data analytics, they are going to impact agriculture a lot in a positive way. What is the fundamental problem with agriculture right now? Basically, I am coming from a traditional farming family. Uh, for generations, you know, family was engaged in farming. And I come from uh, northern India, especially in the province called Uttar Pradesh, Western UP. And I was born in my village. And I did my primary education from the village itself. I did my 10th class from my village. And for 12th, I basically shifted from village to nearby city, which is Meerut. So I did my 12th from uh, Government Inter College Meerut. And just after, I was a good student right from the beginning. So after 12th, I got an opportunity to get admission in India's first agriculture university and one of the most uh, known institution in this field. It is called GB Pant University. It is in uh, uh, Uttarakhand now. I thought of pursuing, you know, veterinary sciences initially. But after landing at that institution, it's a great institution, a large campus. It was set up on the, on the design and everything, curriculum, everything was uh, on Illinois University. So uh, when I basically land, went there for admission, so I thought, you know, my passion lies in agriculture. I have seen my family engaged in this vocation. And uh, I find I, uh, relating myself more towards the agriculture side than in the animal husbandry or veterinary. I was curious to basically understand agriculture better and uh, uh, bring, uh, know it from, from a changing perspective, you know, the way it was being done so far. So that basically was the primary motivation to know it better and to know it deep. Initially, a little bit of you know hesitation was there. How I will fit into into that you know environment, that cultural shift from village to city. So then you 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 identify your place. So for example, I was having stories how uh, guys in for a city they were very curious how the villages are. I was very curious how the city is. Okay. So very soon we strike the chord. And then one of my, some of my friends, they will come along with me, stay with us, and likewise. So, and, uh, going to college, taking admission in B.Sc. Agriculture and Animal Husbandry. So it was kind of a natural progression. But the world window was wide. I learned so many things in, in my institution that where I thought if all these learnings, if I take back to my village, that can add a lot of value. Apart from, run, there are two sides of it. There are fundamentals which you, which basically develop the, all the principles and there is a practical happening inside your, or, or just on, uh, next to your door. So whatever I, the principles I will study, I can definitely correlate them in real time. They will work on your fundamentals and then you have to translate your knowledge into the real business. Uh, my first job was with a company called Chambal Fertilizers. They were into fertilizer and plant nutrition uh, kind of products and uh, my first posting was in Haryana and the, the place where I studied uh, uh, northern India uh, I have never seen the, the one of the crop you know cotton and and this part of the country they, 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 this is the north major cotton belt northern cotton belt so I basically studied cotton as a crop in books but first time I saw the cotton in Sirsa. But the corporate side, I mean, uh, uh, farming is a, is a case of, you know, pure management. You have to factor every cost. See, I also evolved with Indian market. Uh, first uh, 10 years of the career, 
they remain first thing confined to the north central geography of the country i most of the time i was working in the northern india central india and western india that was one second thing uh, it was heavily focused on on plant inputs and uh, crop input side so you are basically into the marketing of uh, fertilizers marketing of plant production chemicals marketing of seeds and then continue to do the same job and you move from a uh, maybe from a limited area to managing larger areas and perhaps you know one state and then couple of states i always wanted to basically work across the value chain agriculture per se if you look out it is divided in three parts or you have three sections in this value chain very distinct one is the entire production activity which is starts from which crop to grow until the time you harvest then this harvest is supposed to come to market and you have to sell it some either for whatever be the purpose once you sell it it will go for different different you know type of consumptions one is direct consumption for example fruit and vegetables it can go as a raw material for food processing industry it can go for export and import purposes so these are the three parts i have learned about input and and now really we need to look into what is happening after input so at that at the same time uh, indian retail was basically making an advent you know it was coming into the country all our organized retail is getting into an organized shape companies like pantaloon reliance all major you know our industrial houses business houses in the country and those who were basically having a solid presence they were entering here it's a natural progression of economic reforms also and food is an important part for any organized retail so suddenly opportunities you know they were grew, coming up and then i also thought uh, let me see what happens to this agri produce once you take it to the market so that prompted me to basically uh, grow further and i joined reliance retail as a part of that progression so the idea was to work across value chain and the second thing second instinct or second objective was work across india so i always wanted to be kind of someone who knows at least indian agriculture thoroughly right from you know the decision what to grow and and then finally uh, to the consumption farmer remains a farmer at heart wherever you go so i worked in a very very good mature retail formats i worked with reliance retail i worked with aditya birla retail and finally mother dairy one of the largest you know food retailer in the country so i thought you know let me go back and my generic industry i whatever i have learned in these 10 years let me go back to my domain and try to create teams those who are as competitive as efficient and as progressive forward looking to these mature markets and mature categories so agriculture companies also they started thinking so retail is happening around us we should also set up uh, a retail format many companies entered at that point of time and my current organization where i work they also thought of setting up one of the retail format and that was the primary reason to come here bring all those learnings culture and everything which matches to to new economy and forward looking you know business requirements that was the primary reason agriculture is an aggregation of you know all the fundamental science so i was looking for a company who is basically better into long term initiatives so i got that opportunity with my you know current employer uh, at that time you know the group was known as nagarjuna group so they are first thing you know they were into hardcore agriculture only the group does agriculture in and out no other vertical and in agriculture also i mean there was a complete thought behind the business for example one set of companies will take care of plant nutrition the other set of company will take care uh, the another set of companies will take care of production and then there is a dedicated company for water management and then there is a company in information management so they were set, they set up the, the india's first uh, agri ict company in 1999 so then i joined here and we could find out you know the basic fundamental problem in india is is decreasing productivity farmers are not getting right price to their produce and then uh, there is a problem called you know credit the entire value chain and farmers per se in india 
everything is credit related right from the purchase of seed until the time you sell your produce and beyond that our motto should be to bring value near to farmers so that is how farm gate in 2014 when the current government came so they decided many areas to reform uh, agriculture like us they said you know soil we will do something to bring back that health again that uh, balance inside you know the soil qua Uh, quality and then they said market interventions are important insurance is important they brought number of schemes and we also make a uh, representation that market is important that will uh, bring the finally you know the balance this value chain requires so that is how this e national agriculture market this concept comes into the picture Uh, our vision is to have a platform uh, which should basically serve the farmers in all means right at their doorstep and take all this experience products technology to other geographies also we are working on a mission and which is to transform the way our farmers are approaching agriculture and in the process when you add some value like i said we are not living in a proprietary age we are living in a open source open ai age we built value platforms for food and agriculture value chains so we wanted our farmers to have visibility how their produce is being sold and it is also important for consumers consumers are ending up paying more farmers are getting less so most of the benefits are going in middle somewhere so our idea was to make this place transparent our consumers should consume more so that farmers are motivated to grow more so this is where the idea of basically farm gate comes into the picture we said in today's is is the power of technology is is playing an important role in in helping anyone to take decisions and having a complete visibility across the spectrum we will digitize the whole marketplace so that when farmers are coming in the market to sell their produce they will have some visibility how the prices are moving at least inside a market we achieved that in punjab in 2012 in a world bank project and that went very well that gave a lot of confidence whatever digitization we are basically witnessing around us this can happen inside agriculture also and in, in india you know all these emerging technologies for example artificial intelligence intelligence machine vision big data data analytics they are going to impact agriculture a lot in a positive way what is the fundamental problem with agriculture right now so we have to improve efficiencies so these all technologies will help you to apply the precise quantity of all your inputs and they will also ensure that you are getting maximum out of your inputs correct means all your inputs will be better efficient when all these variables which impact the quality and quantity of a crop when they are aggregated at one place and you build an intelligence the kind of insights you will get they will further will basically come uh, help you to take decisions informed decisions well in advance so with all this you will reduce your cost and you will be having better produce in your hands you will reduce waste you will have a historical data about your fields historical data about your cultivation practices and you will also have the visibility of market so your buyers can always basically have the visibility of what you are producing so finally this all technologies will address all the kind of opaqueness right now we are having in different part of the value chain and the greater goal of connected agriculture and and having information in real time is going to help everyone farmer as well as the markets as well as consumers my name is mohit and i'm the co-founder of nebula innovations i am a graduate of iit jodhpur we started nebula in 2016 with a aim to automate manual quality assessment where we talk about manual quality assessment 
back then manual quality assessment was very tedious very subjective and very cumbersome task it used to take around 30 minute time to assess one sample now with mat we are doing this quality assessment under 1 minute time we have developed this technology with the help of artificial intelligence and computer vision technologies with our innovation mat we have been awarded india and us patent for this technology mat enables traders and farmers to decide whether the quality they are buying is accurate and basically mat helps farmer to understand what kind of produce they are bringing to mandi ecosystem and the whole concept of inam it's a pmo project and one of the priority program of government of india and the whole vision was one market one nation inam story if you look at today this is the largest agri sport platform globally we have 17.4 million farmer users on inam portal since its inception we have done 80 million metric ton trade comprising of 209 commodities inam has been rolled out in india in 24 states and three union territories in inam anybody can see price movement of a specific commodity across 1300 markets across country so the power is going to come in the hands of users now it's a phenomenal success in terms of bringing that belief in rural ecosystem it's a phenomenal success you know for basically starting an era of you know information technology adoption in farming community of india and we did a lot of hand holding for all the farmers they will come and and they will be basically give a training and we will disseminate a lot of information awareness how to use it how to put up your lot how to trade it how to sell it and you get your payment so after enams coming and an initial success you will see you i am mean, indian agriculture space has witnessed a phenomenal growth in terms of startups before enam we were having hardly 20 30 uh, double digit number of agri startups in india today we have more than 2000 working startup and it's you know it gives us a lot of satisfaction got good recognition in early stage we were recognized uh, uh, by uh, you know one of the very prestigious award gems of digital india we have been recognized by merchant chamber of you know calcutta and more than that most recently and probably one of the pioneering kind of you know recognition especially for agriculture digitization or information technologies contribution into agriculture uh, the team the inam team ministry as and everyone we have uh, got digital india award 2022 and the category is 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 really important which gives a lot of satisfaction for impacting the lives of you know uh, citizens the day we we say it's a business agri business agriculture making agriculture an enterprise definitely all these technologies and this marriage of you know biological sciences and engineering electronics will definitely going to make these systems uh, very very efficient as they say the future belongs to two things one is genomics and other is algorithm so this is how i'm very very hopeful and i see a bright future for agriculture and 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 this world